Well, Star called me at my house, so I didn't have like a script sent through my agent. Star called me at home. I was cooking dinner. I said, girl, I got 10 episodes guaranteed based on my book. So I'm going to give you the book, read it. I'll give you the script and tell me what you think. But you're number one, my number one choice. And I wrote this role for you in mind. If you, if, a quick story. When she was having open heart surgery, the doctor told her that she needed to do something every day to exercise her mind because she might be losing brain cells. So they wanted to keep her mind active. So she started writing the book. And while she was writing this book back in 2010, mm -hmm. she had me in mind for Maxine Robinson, cut to six years later, she gets a deal. She's been, the deal was optioned for five years at VH1. They finally got the go. And she said, you're my number one choice. Read it, but I hope you like it. I read it. I couldn't believe how juicy it was. Uh, yeah. If anyone hasn't read Satan Sisters, watch out. And then I said, are they going to let you do this as a series? And she said, 10 episodes guaranteed. Yeah, Jerice, why are you so jealous of Shazam? <laughs> Am I? No, I'm, there's nothing for me to be jealous of, seriously. Jealous of her. Why would I be? Um, how long have you known Giselle? Six years. I Six guess. years? Yeah. How long have you known Karen? Three. <laughs> Three? Yeah. But, you, but didn't you know her from around Potomac? Not really? No. I always got Or are you sense. talking about age as well? Yeah, age yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, that is the wonderful part about Maxine's role, and particularly one of the plot twists, which we won't talk about in the actual first episode, but... Uh, she has pressure to stay current and to look as youthful as she can because she's dealing with other women. And in one particular instance in the episode that you'll see, she takes some drastic measures to maintain her youth, which go haywire. Uh, and that's a big turn in the actual episode. So, yes, there is unfair pressure for women to look young, to plump up their skin and pull themselves and tape up and, and, and look perfect. Uh, but the wonderful thing about Maxine, which I love, is it doesn't happen, which you will see, and that I can be 54 years old and look the way I am and not have to apologize and not to feel like I have to compete with anybody. And I think it gives women that are my age and older uh, an example on television that she looks like herself. That's what 54 looks like. I know. Yeah. And I'm going to ask a question for um, Robin. Robin, that jumpsuit is amazing. Thank and you. Um, and how long have you known Amorosa? I've known Amorosa since Jackson was 13. He's 19 now, so that's six years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what, what? It was an amazing wedding. Uh -huh. It was a fairy tale wedding. That's the first thing. And luckily we had amazing writers. I was fortunate to have two of my writers from Ugly Betty that I called and said, I'm doing a new show. I'd love to have you in the room. So we had a great writer's room. So my writers knew how to write for me and knew what I could kill and knew, you know, knew my voice uh, in terms of everyone else. When it's on the page, uh, you have to bring it to life. But if it's not on the page, it's a struggle. And that's when you can tell when things aren't really good and when things aren't clicking is because there's really no amazing dialogue or arcs to, to support a good scene. So we were lucky to have amazing writing. And uh, the comedy comes out of chemistry. Chemistry and listening. Comedy is a rhythm, and you have to listen to where the beats are, where you need to take a pause, don't rush, where you need to hold back, so that you learn your rhythm from who you're working with, and it's all about listening and not stepping on each other's rhythm or, or, or space. But that's, uh, I think comedy is written, you gotta hear it, and then you gotta trust your ensemble. It was a fairy tale wedding. Um, I was a little scared, though, while I was there. Why? Because it was at Trump Towers. Right. <laughs> and, I was... and Trump hates black people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't. Um, no, why were you scared? No. Well, what could happen to you at Trump no, Tower? Cause... Why would you be scared? I'm just saying, they have a lot of, you know, bomb threats and things like that. Oh, right. And the thing happened in Syria right, like, right, the right. day before or whatever. Right. So I'm just like, oh, oh shoot. Right. And was anyone there from the Trump administration? Isn't she on the uh, yeah. yeah, she is. She, was she there. is. Yeah. Um, there was a few people there. Yeah. Ben Carson was there. No. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't see him, but he was there. Mm. I, I probably, I tune into The View most. Uh, I was on The View. It's opening year back, like 20... I think it was 98 when you guys... 97. 97, yeah. August 97. Yeah, so I, I, I remember dancing. I think I was doing dance with me at the time and, and went out and salsa and 
enjoyed everyone. So I would have to say The View I have. And I've also co-hosted on The View. So a lot of my references for playing this character. I know what it's like to be in the makeup room. I know what it's like when they're talking about hot, hot topics. I had Barbara Walters to my left and Joy to my right. And, you know, so I, I understand how it works and I know what it takes to, to go through the day. So I think I appreciate that the most. Mm. <laughs> I heard. Okay. How are you at a wedding with someone and you don't see them? Well, there were a lot of people there. I was there were. with my was little big. section. And you and Phaedra hung out? We, we, we sat next to each other oh, during nice. the wedding. Cool. Not, you know, accidentally sort of kind of, not intentionally. Okay. We talked a little bit and Good. we sat at the table for the reception, the same table, shared. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> okay. I'm happy about it. Um, I want to thank Sharice and Robin and Steve Lee on BravoTV.com. Thanks, everybody.